With Farming Simulator 22 being under two weeks away from release, I thought we should do a roundup of the top 10 features that are coming to the new installment of the Farming Simulator franchise. Let's get into it. Number 1 Crossplay Giants have introduced crossplay with FS22, which finally means console players can finally play with PC players, Xbox and PlayStation can play together, and so on. If the server host is hosting from a PC, up to 16 players are possible, including players on console. If you're using a game console to host the server, you can host up to 6 players. Console players can finally rent dedicated servers as well. When playing on a dedicated server hosted by Nitrato other ser and other server providers, or even self-hosted dedicated servers, up to 16 players po are possible regardless of the player's system. Number 2. The new US map Elm Creek. Elm Creek is the U.S. map that will come in Farming Simulator 22. This is by far the best American map that Giants has made for the base game. After the flop of Ravenport, which was the FS19 base game map, it's a very huge leap from Ravenport. Elm Creek is inspired by the U.S. Midwest region and offers various large fields and vast open spaces to build your farm on. Look for look forward to numerous fields with varying shapes and sizes authentically embedded into the scenic landscape. There's your typical out of town gas station, huge grain silos shaping the skyline, visible from your farm, and lots of other buildings. One of the sightseeing highlights in Elm Creek is the baseball stadium, home of the Elm Creek Wolves. Number three, the new crops. The new crops of Farming Simulator 22 are grapes, olives, and sorghum. Grapes and olives are a great addition because they tie into other various gameplay mechanics, such as the new production chains, for example, and for the brand new map set in the Mediterranean climate. They're more fitting. On top of that, since you place the vines manually, they are also part of our new and improved build mode. You see, grapes and olives are not just two new crop types added to the list, but they come with various new gameplay mechanics that affect various parts of the game. And Sorghum, it's very popular in the United States and perfect for the Midwest inspired map Elm Creek. Since the since it's a highly nutritious crop, it steadily gains more importance around the world in warmer regions, making it a fitting addition to the list of grains in Farming Simulator. Number four, character customization. In FS19, we were introduced to small character customization options. Well, in FS22, that's getting a whole lot deeper. You can choose your hairstyle, including your beard or mustache, between various clothing items from top to bottom, and even full, authentic body outfits from your favorite brands. On top of generic clothes, there's also a set of branded outfits your character can wear. So if you're running a farming operation heavy on John Deere machinery, well, why not dress in green? Number 5. Productions. In FS22 we are introduced to a new feature which many people may have used in FS19, which are production chains. Get your production chains started in FS22 and don't stop with selling your wheat after harvest. Instead deliver it to the grain mill so it gets processed into a fine flour and bring it to the local bakery. Then you decide what they'll do with it. So what it, what is new exactly? There's a lot of new building types in FS22. Well. While some are already placed on new maps already and ready to take your goods for further processing, you can also build them yourself, making them your business and expand your farming operation. Since the feature is still pretty much a work in progress, they didn't show us everything yet. Number six, greenhouses. Well, you've had a well, we've had a version of greenhouses previously, but this version we are getting an even better style of greenhouses. Growing crops on your soil is fun and challenging. If you're playing with seasonal growth and snow enabled though, your farm will not be able to produce crops during the winter. For each product growing inside your greenhouses, you can manually set the output mode. By default, the greenhouses will store the goods by generating pallets full of lettuce, tomatoes, or strawberries. Then you can take care of them manually afterwards. Number seven, animals and bees. Farming Simulator 22 introduces many animals, but first, let's take a look at the bees. Small hives, big hives, even medium hives in between. There are numerous beehives to choose from, 
allowing you to provide your farm with an individual flare. The money they generate, you can either sell them directly or process the honey together with grains and raisins at the cereal factory. Also, if you place it approximately to canola, potatoes, and sunflowers, the yield of your crops will rise thanks to some pollinating. Now let's look at the animals. You can already start thinking about where to build your chicken coops, especially if you want to bake some cakes by delivering eggs to the local bakery. Animals are back in Farming Simulator 22, and they're more important than ever. They make your farm more lively, they diversify your farming experience, they generate additional income in various ways, they give you something to do during the winter, they produce resources for the production chains like eggs, they produce manure, a cheap organic fertilizer, they allow you to discover the land by riding the horses. They can increase the yield of your crops and they give you a reason to put on a beekeeper outfit. And they're cute and fluffy, especially the sheep. Number eight, the new build mode. Farming Simulator 22 introduces a brand new and improved build mode, combining the landscaping and placement of buildings. Giants decided to overhaul the construction system from Farming Simulator 19 for two reasons. First, we need to, they needed it to improve the usability. On the other hand, we have new features like production chains that require an extended build mode. Basically, they revamped the whole thing by increasing the number of placeables items drastically and redesigned all the controls. Overall, everything is put into one of the following categories. Buildings, they're split into sheds, silos, silos extensions, containers, tools, here you find buildings like the new Rudolph Horman sheds, each with functionality and things like vehicle service points or solar panels, production chains, or productions. They contain all the buildings you need to start your production chains or earn your additional money another way. These are factories, selling points, greenhouses, orchards, and generators. Animals. They contain pens for your animals in different shapes and sizes and some additional functionality. Decorations. They contain your fences street lights and more with these sets you can provide your farm with a lot of detail and landscaping well it's the landscaping tool for sculpting painting trees and plants here you find everything to make your farm more individual number nine parallax occlusion mapping in farming simulator 22 surfaces will appear more realistic and natural thanks to parallax occlusion mapping they implemented in Giants Engine 9, Parallax Occlusion will make the terrain and other surfaces in the game look more detailed and dynamic if the feature is turned on in settings. I'll try to explain this as simple as possible. Parallax Occlusion Mapping is a technique that basically boosts the, the details of a texture surface to give it depth like tire tracks on your field or trenching in the ground. It's basically 3D textures coming to the game. And number 10, Seasons. In FS22, you'll need to prepare for spring, summer, fall, and winter. If you don't, well, you'll see the value of your, you'll see your valuable crops just wither away. That is, if you choose to play with seasonal cycles enabled, of course. Since each season comes with its own characteristics, the atmosphere changes quite a bit throughout the year. In spring, trees start to grow their leaves in vibrant colors. They mature into a lush green tree. In summer, in fall, the color palette changes, the atmosphere turns a bit different before everything will be covered in a thick layer of snow. When winter comes around, here and there, it even gets icy. We recommend paying a visit to the waterfall to enjoy a cave-like experience with a solitude riddled with icicles. If you still want to keep seasonal cycles charm of running a farm in the middle of winter, go ahead. You can turn off snow separately if you want. As usual, the feature can be deactivated, so you have more control of your gameplay experience. Farming Simulator 22 is only 13 days away, and while we still have a couple of pieces of news left along with a few fact sheets, the release date is still around the corner. And if you want to pre-order the new game, the links are in the description. Thank you all for watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next one.